Okay, instead of writing it all out, I decided to go online and uh, actually set up a library, a li lobby, so you could figure out what's going on. Um, back to basics. Uh, what I wrote about in this in the first section. Uh, this is the main menu. They call it something, some kind of menu. Anyway, this is what you want to check your network settings. And what you want to do is go down to Internet Connection Test. I can't do that now, otherwise it kicks me out of the game. But that's what you want to do before you go online. The second thing you have to do before you go online is press the whatever, some button. It's I think it's the Start button. Scroll down to Options, and then you go down to Network, Clear System Cache, C. Yes, you want to clear the system cache. Makes a little sound. Then you back out, and you go across. Community, obviously, is where your clubs are. We don't want to do that. We're going to want to go to... Oh, except you can run lobbies from your club. If you have a club, you can run lobbies from it. But we're going to go into Open Lobby. Going to wait a few seconds while it loads. You want me to sing? No, okay. So if you're here, it always says Show Public Club Rooms. Well, we won't, we, you know, if, we, if we're not going to form a lobby, if we just want to join one, this is what we want. So we go to Show Friends Lobby. That's lobbies that our friends are in. Who's in this one? This is... Alex is in this one. Okay, you can check any time to see who's online. We don't want to do that either, so we want to create a new lobby. Uh, wait for a second. Okay, here. Th this is the, s the first thing you see. It looks imposing, but it's it's not that bad. Starting here, there's a bunch of ways you can set up a lo lobby. This would give you, a, say, a five-minute uh, practice, and then a qualifier, and then a race. This will give you a time trial. That's all it will give you. This will give you a drift trial. This is no racing. This is practice, and then an endurance race. You know, you get the idea. This is where you'll go 99% of the time, practice and race. It defaults. Default, in case you don't know, means that's what you get at the start. It defaults to public. I don't want public ever again. I will set it to friends only. Load settings I'll get to in a minute. Save settings I'll get to in a minute. Okay, you have to make some kind of room comment. So you type in here, and I always have GT World, and you know you can put Bob's House of Ill Repute. You can put anything you want there. It doesn't matter. Race type, race for fun. Race for real is intense. Cruising is not racing. Just want to make friends, pretend it's a single bar, show off your cars, it doesn't have to be a race at all, etc, etc, etc. We want to race for fun. Race quality, because I have a very good internet connection, it's high. But I don't want it to be high. I want it to be standard. When it's standard, it means more people can have uh, easier time connecting and the room itself will be more stable. If everybody had a really fast interconnect, internet connection and lived close to me, sure, very high is fun, high is alright. I generally set it to standard. Voice chat quality. Voice is d disabled by default. If you want to talk and you do want to talk in your lobby, you know, who would want to join a lobby where you can't talk? Turn it to standard. Again, if you go very high, you're limiting the bandwidth of the room, f you know, t to the race. You're, you're switching, you're, you're, you're dividing the bandwidth into voice or race, and you want pretty good both, so that's standard too. 
fixed room host if I lose my connection um, and I have it on yes it's a fixed room that means that uh, once I leave the room is dead so I put it on no in case I leave had a heart attack get hit by a wayward tram the room stays open anytime you do this look down at the bottom there scrolling across are, is the typical GT6 help higher the quality the clearer the voices will be but the heavier load on your connection okay so everything I've said is there at the bottom more or less and that tells you what that is now if you've got a good connection and you have 16 friends who might want to show up yeah maybe not maybe 10 or 12 8's good 10 is good whatever the hell you want to put there is fine you know it doesn't matter it's up to you okay so that's the basics now we get into course settings uh, this is where you choose the courses I like Autumn Ring Mini for slow cars, just having fun. These are not alphabetical, they're, they're in distance, top to bottom. You can't, you can't sort any other way, except World Circuit, which you know. I mean, these tracks really exist. Original Circuit, that's the uh, uh, GT series of tracks. City Circuit, oh, this makes it easier. City Track, sure, why not? We'll go for City Track or Dirt and Snow that's all the dirt and snow tracks so if it, it just helps you narrow down where you want to go okay some of the tracks you can change the weather you can change the time this one only goes till roughly four o'clock in the afternoon this can change you know as you run the race if you're running like a few laps you can get it to change from morning to noon to midnight back to morning again in the race which is kind of fun any number of laps you want up to 200 weather changeability um, it, it, it rain snow sleet clear weather this will will tell you how many times it's going to change or, or how often it's going to change in the race surface water at the start some people want to have a, a race in the rain you can have all water you can have 50 percent you can have anything you want I don't know what that is, so don't worry about it. Uh, hold races automatically. I don't know. Race start type. We always use uh, grid start with false start check. In other words, if you take off too early, you get a penalty. If you're into NASCAR, and it won't go to that because we're not using NASCAR, you can have a rolling start or a double file rolling start grid start means you can you can start and there won't be a penalty for taking off early but you want that grid order we always use reverse grid based on previous race results if you're running a time trial it's fastest first if you want to give people a dis an advantage slower drivers ad an advantage uh, slowest first you know so that's what we use ah the boost boost is off boost is weak boost is strong we've talked about that at times it's up to you penalty weak means uh, what does that mean it means you disappear for a second but there's not a huge long length of time you penalize strong if you get people who hit each other on purpose either kick them out or put turn penalties on strong this is always fun in an NASCAR race. Very fast fuel consumption and tire consumption. Uh, NASCAR or some race events where you want to have pit stops. Set it for 10 laps. Set fuel and tire on for very fast and people have to watch the race. They also have to watch their tires and they have to watch the gas gauge. It adds a realistic element to the, the games. <laughs> 